Hello everyone! Here is a spoiler of what you will learn in the second tutorial on building a low-cost drone and a control system from scratch. Here you can see an experimental setup I created in order to test the control of a DC brushless motor used for building the drone. This motor is controlled by using a TNC 4.1 microcontroller. Currently, I'm using a TNC microcontroller, however, in the future I will also test STM32 microcontrollers. This TNC microcontroller is an attractive control option mainly because its programming is very similar to Arduino. However, this controller is more powerful than most of Arduino boards. The microcontroller generates pulse width modulation signals or briefly PWM signals that are sent to the motor driver shown over here. The PWM signals are also shown on the oscilloscope. The PWM signals are used to control the angular velocity of the motor. This is a low-cost motor driver rated for 40 amps motors. This might be an overkill for the motor I'm currently using. The motor is a low-cost brushless motor with a motor velocity constant of 920 kV. Although small, this motor provides around 500 grams of thrust. This is actually a significant thrust for such a small motor that weights only maybe 30 or 40 grams. I will stop the motor for a second in order to illustrate something. I'm stopping the motor by modifying the code. I will explain the code later on. Okay. Here, since I'm performing initial tests, I attached a cardboard propeller instead of the real 10-inch propeller that you can see over here. I attached this cardboard propeller mainly because I don't want to injure myself while learning how to control the motor. This motor can spin with the angular velocity of approximately 10,200 RPM. That's around 170 revolutions per second. The motor driver and the motor are powered by using a lithium polymer battery with a capacity of 1500 milliamps per hour and with a nominal voltage of 11.1 volts. This battery is used just for tests and in practice the drone will be powered by this battery with a capacity of 5200 milliamp hours. In the tutorial, whose link will be provided in the description below this video, you will learn how to generate PWM signals in TNC and how to change the duty cycle of the PWM signals. By changing the duty cycle, we control the angular velocity of the motor. As an illustration of what you will learn in the video tutorial, over here I wrote a simple code for controlling the speed of the motor. Over here, I define the PWM output pin and I define the frequency of the PWM signal. In this case, I'm controlling the motor with the frequency of 200 Hz. That is, the frequency of the PWM signal is 200 Hz. Over here, I define the resolution of my PWM signals. The resolution is currently 8 bit. And over here, I simply send the pulse width modulation signal to the pin number 3. This number 50 over here usually goes from 0 to 255. The motor will not spin when this number is equal to 50. In order to spin the motor, you need to put at least 55 over here. And if I upload the code, you will hear that the motor is actually running. Here is the motor. Now, I will increase the number 55 to, let's say, 58, and you will see a big difference. And 
you can see that the motor spins with a higher angular velocity. Let's see what happens when I change the number to 62, for example. Nothing happens. And now after I upload the code, you can see that the motor spins with even higher angular velocity. Over here, you can see the full speed modulation signal. You will learn how to control this motor in the follow-up tutorial.